Tani's childhood was remarkable and unique, as she was raised among gorillas at her parents' animal rehabilitation center. This extraordinary upbringing allowed her to forge deep and meaningful connections with these magnificent animals, particularly with two gorillas named Dila and Bims. These gorillas, like many others, found refuge at the center, which served as a sanctuary for those that were orphaned, injured, or in need of care, with the ultimate aim of reintroducing them into their natural habitat. The center's dedicated staff, including Tani's parents, worked tirelessly to ensure that these gorillas received the love, care, and rehabilitation they needed before their eventual release back into the wild. During her formative years, Tani developed a profound bond with Dila and Bims, treating them not just as animals under her family's care but as true friends and companions. Their relationship was a testament to the intelligence and emotional depth of gorillas, showcasing their ability to form close, protective bonds with humans. Tani and her gorilla friends shared many moments of joy and companionship, highlighted by their unique greeting ritual involving fist bumps, heart-shaped hand gestures, and hugs, symbolizing their deep connection. After spending 12 years away from the center, Tani returned, eager to reunite with Dila, Bims, and the other gorillas. She anticipated a joyful reunion with her old friends, but instead, she was met with an unforeseen challenge that would test her courage and dedication to these animals. The situation she encountered upon her return was far from the happy homecoming she had imagined. Instead, it demanded that she make a significant sacrifice and take a stand for the welfare and protection of the gorillas she had grown to love. Tani's story is not just about her unique childhood among gorillas but also about her unwavering commitment to doing what's right for these majestic creatures, even when faced with daunting obstacles. Her journey illustrates the powerful and enduring bond between humans and animals, and the lengths one will go to preserve and protect that connection for the greater good as time passed. The moment arrived for the gorillas to return to their natural habitat, fully rehabilitated and ready for the next chapter of their lives. It was a bittersweet farewell for Tani and those who had formed bonds with these magnificent creatures. Tears flowed freely as they savored their final moments together, creating lasting memories that would be cherished forever, as Tani, her parents, and the other workers bid farewell to their gorilla friends. A palpable sense of sadness hung in the air, yet, deep down, they knew that this was the right decision for the gorilla's well-being. With heavy hearts, they watched as the gorillas disappeared into the dense jungle, vanishing from sight but hopefully embarking on a future filled with freedom and fulfillment. Years passed, and Tani grew up, Carrying the cherished memories of her time with the gorillas, armed with a degree in wildlife conservation, she contemplated returning home to continue her work at her parents' animal reservation center. However, fate had other plans in store for her. Upon calling home to inform her dad about her impending return, Tani received disturbing news. The illegal commercial bushmeat trade in the area had reached an all-time high, and the very gorillas they had worked tirelessly to rehabilitate and release were now being targeted by poachers, visibly distraught by the news. Tani felt a sense of urgency to take action, remembering her closest gorilla friends, Delilah and Bims. The thought of them falling victim to poaching activities shook her to the core. Determined to make a difference, Tani reached out to the authorities, seeking their assistance in combating the poachers. However, the authorities were at a loss for viable plans. Their lack of familiarity with the forest terrain and the Cunning tactics employed by the poachers hindered their efforts. Despite assurances of ongoing efforts, Tani knew that more needed to be done to protect the gorillas from harm. With resolve in her heart, Tani packed her belongings and returned home, determined to find a solution with her father. Yet, as they deliberated on their next steps, it became evident that the authorities' hands were tied. Without the means to navigate the forest with the necessary stealth, they were forced to wait for the poachers to reveal themselves, hoping for a chance to intervene and protect the gorillas from harm. But such endeavors often came at a steep cost. The loss of precious lives among the gorillas, they needed a new strategy. And thankfully, someone was about to propose a bold plan back at home. Tani spoke to her father, urging him to enlist the help of two of his ex-marine friends, Jude and Colt, to accompany them into the wild. Their mission, to ensure the safety of the gorillas from the relentless poaching activities, Tani's voice trembled with urgency as she vividly described the peril faced by the gorillas. Her father listened intently, recognizing the gravity of the situation. He reached out to his marine friends, and after understanding the risks involved, Jude and Colt agreed to join the expedition. 
they knew the dangers they would face, falling into the poacher's traps or even getting captured themselves, but what concerned them most was the possibility of the gorillas not recognizing them and seeing them as a threat, potentially resulting in a violent confrontation. Despite these risks, they devised a plan and set out the next day. As they journeyed into the forest, the sounds of civilization faded, replaced by the symphony of the wild. Tanny led the way, her steps light and assured, her eyes scanning for signs of her gorilla family. The group moved in a tight formation, with Jude and Colt flanking Tanny and her father, their senses on high alert, hours passed, and Suddenly Tanny halted, her hand raised in a silent command to stop, she crouched, examining something on the ground, a broken branch, freshly snapped, she hoped it was a sign that they were getting closer, Jude, with his keen eyes, spotted something unusual, a faint trail leading off their intended route, he swiftly motioned for a halt and guided the group towards it there, hidden by a clever arrangement of leaves and branches, lay the main residence of the poachers, it was a rudimentary setup. But the signs were clear, it was where they stored supplies and hatched their nefarious plans. With this discovery, their mission took on a new urgency as they prepared to confront the poachers and protect the gorillas at any cost. Without a moment's hesitation, Jude and Colt sprang into action. They moved with stealth, circling the camp while remaining unseen, their movements as silent as shadows. With each step, they gathered crucial information, Colt discreetly using a GPS device to mark the coordinates of the poacher's location, this data would prove vital in the authorities' efforts to flush out the criminals with precision. Meanwhile, Tanny and her father kept vigilant watch, scanning the surrounding forest for any signs of the poacher's return. Tanny's heart raced with a mix of fear and excitement, knowing they were on the brink of making a real difference in saving her gorilla family. Aware of the urgency of their mission, they quickly retreated to safety, knowing that every moment near the poacher's camp posed a risk, with the coordinates secured, they now had a tangible lead to hand over to the authorities, as they moved away from the camp, their mission evolved from a personal endeavor to reunite with the gorillas to a larger fight against wildlife crime, this realization propelled them forward with renewed determination, now, the time had come to search for the gorillas themselves, a few miles away, they discovered primate footprints and broken tree branches, indicating their proximity to the gorillas whereabouts, Suddenly, a deep, guttural growl shattered the silence, freezing them in their tracks, the menacing sound was unnervingly close, its source unseen, with their hearts pounding, they exchanged wary glances, was it one of the gorillas they sought, or something more sinister, adrenaline surged through their veins as they cautiously advanced, the growls growing louder and more ominous with each step when they pushed through the foliage, the source of the growling came into view, a gigantic gorilla, its massive form towering over them, its eyes burning with hostility, it roared, the sound reverberating through the trees, sending birds scattering into the sky, Tanny's heart raced with uncertainty, was this one of the gorillas she knew, or a stranger with dangerous intent in a moment fraught with tension, Tan's father gestured towards a slight, unique scar marring the face of a gorilla nearby, this subtle mark catapulted Tan's memories back to a time years earlier when she had encountered a playful young gorilla that had accidentally injured itself on a jagged branch, Tan had tenderly cared for the wound, an act that had sparked an indelible connection between her and the animal, before Tan could fully grasp the significance of this discovery, another sizable gorilla made its appearance, positioning itself next to the first one, this newcomer, while equally majestic, bore an air of familiarity in its posture and the peculiar tilt of its head, observing them together, Tan was struck, by a sudden realization, these were Dila and Bims, her cherished gorilla friends from the past, however, the pressing question that loomed in her mind was whether they could still recognize her after all these years, time had marched on, and in the unpredictable wilderness, the bonds forged with humans could easily be overshadowed by the relentless struggle for survival aware of the delicate nature of the situation, Tan knew better than to make any abrupt movements or attempt to flee, as such. Actions could be misinterpreted by the gorillas, potentially inciting a defensive aggression, to convey her peaceful intentions. She took a deep breath and, with her voice shaking, softly called out their names. She extended her hands with caution, maintaining a safe distance, and repeated their names once more. This time, a noticeable change came over Dila and Bims, their aggressive posturing eased, and they regarded her with a mix of curiosity and bewilderment. Tan held her breath, silently. Hoping for a glimmer of recognition, then, 
As if by some miracle, Dila and Bims performed a heartwarming gesture. They tapped their fists together twice before gently forming a heart shape with their fingers. This was a playful greeting Tan had taught them during their shared days of innocence and joy. A surge of relief and happiness overwhelmed Tan as it became clear the gorillas remembered her. This poignant moment of reunion filled her with an immense sense of hope, eager to reinforce the bond. Tan mimicked the heart-shaped gesture, signaling that she, too, remembered and cherished their friendship. It seemed to Tan as though a subtle smile flickered across the faces of both primates, a testament to the enduring connection they shared. Overjoyed, Tan felt as though she had been reunited with her long-lost gorilla family, a bond that had withstood the test of time, as this heartfelt reunion unfolded. The quiet rustling of the surrounding foliage heralded the arrival of the rest of the gorilla family, emerging cautiously at first. They too joined this extraordinary moment, signaling a new chapter in this remarkable friendship between human and gorilla. Amidst them emerged mothers with their babies, their tiny faces peeking out with wide, inquisitive eyes. Tanny's heart swelled with joy at the sight. The family had grown, and the babies were a beacon of hope a testament to the resilience of these magnificent creatures, Jude and Colt, understanding the urgency of the situation. Stealthily circled the camp, gathering crucial information while staying out of sight, Colt discreetly used a GPS device to record the coordinates of the poacher's location, vital information that would enable authorities to act with precision. Meanwhile, Tanny and her father kept watch, their eyes scanning the surrounding forest for any sign of the poacher's return. Tanny's heart raced with a mix of fear and excitement as they drew closer to making a real difference in saving her gorilla family. With the coordinates secured, they retreated to safety, aware that every moment near the poacher's camp posed a risk. Their mission had evolved beyond reuniting with the gorilla family. They were now instrumental in the larger fight against wildlife crime. Determined and focused, they embarked on the next phase of their journey, eager to ensure the safety of the gorillas while they ventured deeper into the forest. Tanny led the way, her steps assured, her eyes keen for any signs of her gorilla. Family, the group moved cautiously, with Jude and Colt flanking Tanny and her father, their senses heightened for any potential danger. Hours passed until Tanny halted abruptly, her hand raised in a silent command. She examined a broken branch on the ground, a hopeful sign they were nearing their destination. Meanwhile, Jude noticed an unusual trail leading off their intended route, a subtle clue that led them closer to the poacher's hideout. When they approached, hidden by cleverly arranged foliage, they discovered the main residence of the poachers, a rudimentary setup, but unmistakably the hub of their nefarious activities. Jude and Colt swiftly relayed this crucial information to the authorities, paving the way for swift action to apprehend the poachers and dismantle their operation. Back with the gorillas, Tanny and her team constructed a makeshift camp, a temporary home from which they could watch over their gorilla family. The days were filled with activity and emotion as they played with the gorilla babies and witnessed the pride of Dalila and Bim as they cared for their young. It was a time of peace and joy amidst the ongoing struggle to protect these animals. As night fell, Tanny lay in the makeshift shelter, listening to the sounds of the forest. The knowledge that the authorities were closing in on the poacher's camp brought a sense of relief. But it was the time spent with the gorillas that filled her with a profound sense of accomplishment, with the poachers. Operation dismantled and the gorillas safe, they prepared to leave, a bittersweet moment as they said goodbye to their gorilla family, carrying with them memories that would last a lifetime.